have never listened enough to what the ancient tales say. About the evil that lurks in the souls of the most ambitious. Turning them into... Demons. They tell of when heroes rose together to find who couldn't resist the call of power. But now here we are. The same lands once tarnished by violence are again bathed by the conflict. Because we have forgotten the spilled blood. Because we have forgotten the sacrifice. I can't bear this burden anymore. I need to undertake my path to a new dawn. And right now that I wander in search of redemption, an hooded messenger comes to me with a promise to tear away from my heart the darkness that marks us all. G'day guys, welcome to a new video. We are playing Anima. It's a new game, it's actually been out for a while and we are finally playing this awesome ARPG game. It is a lot different compared to all the other games that I play and if you guys have known me and known me for quite a while, you guys know I am into survival based games but I really wanted to try out this game and purely because of the style of game that it is being an action uh, RPG style game but also mo most importantly is I want to get your feedback your reactions to the game me playing it personally everything else in between and things like that and yeah maybe we could look at this as somewhat as a new direction possibly into the whole gaming um, side of things, me playing a different type of genre of game, would you like me to branch out into different things? So yeah, let me know. But what we're going to do is I'm going to give you a bit of a basic run through what I've um, uh, discovered in the game myself. I've, I've been testing it over the last week just to try it out here and there. And basically I'm, I'm going to take you on this little journey if you guys are interested. So let's get to it. Let's get over to this fella here, the hooded, and let's have a chat to him. Okay, so our first little mini quest here. So what I've done is, I've, what I've actually should have possibly shown you guys at the beginning is um, there's three different classes. You've got the Skirmish, you've got the Sorcerer, which who I've undertaken here, and then you've got the Archer. So they're the three classes that you can actually play. You can actually change up um, and, and add different gaming profiles as well and... Um, play your different classes as a playthrough yourselves if you want to go ahead and do that as well But I figured I just thought I'd let you know in advance what I'm doing at the moment. So let's talk to the Arvid Teratinu. Perek yut feyubor karabene pseudes. 
All right, so we gotta go and find where what happened to these lost soldiers down um, in the zone itself. So right now, whoop, what have we got over here? So basically, just directs us to where we should be going. Um, so yeah, actually, this game had actually recently updated to version uh, 1.71. I think this was post the Christmas update, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. So, quickly, this is where you're always going to spawn back when you jump back into the game every time that you log out. So, you've got a couple of things like your stash. So, if you go ahead and open that up, you can pretty much um, drop things into here. So, you've got um, three lots of stashes. Eventually, you'll have the ability to unlock these as well as time progresses, just to sort of give you an idea. What we've got here, what we're looking at here is our, um, all of our equipment, weaponry, things like that. You can get lockets, rings, things like that that you can, that you can add on to your player. So this is like a, a very um, Diablo-esque game. A lot of people sort of explain that this has a very, um, a very similarity uh, to Diablo 1 back in the day. Now, not to say that it is like Diablo 1, but what I'm saying is it the, the, the reminiscence of the game itself. Um, a lot of people can sort of take um, visual cues and it sort of reminds them of the original Diablo game, which sort of brings me to my next point as well. As I'm sort of um, on the subject in regards to Diablo, I'm really interested in playing Diablo Immortal. Um, so it's gonna be a new mobile game coming out of Blizzard. Now, there is talks that there's going to be some very um, early stage testing um, that they're going to ro roll out potentially towards um, the next half of this year. I am hoping to be on that list myself. I have pre-registered for the game when it first got announced back in um, 2018. So I'm hopeful that I will be on that list so I can at least show you guys as well. But again, I just figured um, I'll just let you know my interest in the game and I'll be interested in actually um, having a go at Diablo Immortal. Um, as it would be my first um, crack at it as well. So that's also something to note. But anyway, I want to learn the style of uh, action ARPGs and I want to sort of, you know, take you on that journey as well. And hopefully you guys that might be a little bit more knowledgeable about this type of game in this space, um, you guys can sort of let me know as well what I should be doing, tips, tricks, all that sort of good stuff as well. And this is where, um, you know, I, I may lean on you guys for that. But as we sort of move along, um, you can see that we've got our stuff over here on the left-hand side. You've got the DPS, the res, and the uh, regen as well. Um, and then down here, you've got your strength, uh, dexterity, intellect, and vitality. You'll need these as you level up so you can skill and spec into um, certain attributes and also the ability to carry and also wield certain armor and weaponry and all that sort of good stuff. Uh, and then here you've got your, your extended bits and pieces. So you basically your health, regen, mana, um, regen for the mana and all that sort of stuff. Critical um, as we sort of go down the miscellaneous as well. And then you've got your inventory slot, which is the, uh, the bag aspect. Um, we've got Olav here. Here's our trader. We can purchase things if we wish um, as we sort of go along um, through that, which I believe, which is pretty self-explanatory. Um, we've got the gambler here. I've, I haven't actually gone through this myself, but you've got to bet a thousand coins if you want to try your luck in getting some uh, loot or any type of goods. And then we've got another trader here, which I think this is actually new because I didn't see this in my other game or not that I really paid much attention about it, but you've got that there as well. So that's the black market, if you will. And I think you've got the blacksmith, which is further up here, which I actually completely uh, um, uh, disregarded beforehand. You've got a recycle system, remove sockets if you get them, repair or repair all of your inventory. So yeah, and then from here, up here is a little bit changed that you've got um, your bonus, uh, sorry, things that you can purchase through the market and all that sort of stuff. Um, this is all of your achievements and things like that. As you sort of go down, there's gonna be more achievements that you will have the ability to unlock as the game sort of progresses. Your quest log, if you wanna go through that again, and then um, back to your achievements if you wish. And then finally over here, you've got the Wheel of Fortune, no ads available. So if you wanna do this, you can if you really wish. And then over here, you've got the ability tree. So once you level up, you'll have points that you can spec into certain things as you sort of go along. And then what you can do from there, you've got these three little circles here where the fourth one, the main uh, your main attack is, you can add those as your special abilities as you sort of go along. You've got the attributes for the skirmish build as well. 
the sorceress build, which I'm going to be doing. And then you've got the archer's ability. And then again, that's where the quest log is. So yep, from that as a little guide, hopefully you guys sort of got a bit out of that. But let's get to it. Let's um, check out here. Oh, there's something else over here that's kind of new-ish. I don't know what that is. Let's go ahead and open. Okay. So the Rift of the Trials. So you've got rifts, kind of again, Diablo sort of. Uh, so challenge and defeat hordes of uh, terrible demons and redeem the rewards uh, that the gods give to the most valiant. The more difficult the challenge, the higher the reward, but be careful. Uh, not to dare too much so you got to be obviously careful in the way that you want to um, sort of attack that but again you need a considerable amount of coins 20,000 buy-in before you can even think about it there's the hooded fella beforehand that we started from the, at the beginning of the video and this fella here we've got here is Jacob uh, Jacos Jacos Tranus eu pu kiro kelas celelu. Asortalu eu du muku mutek. Ye aravish don teranus uguer subenti. Lo au cretus carraeu uteropes. Eu pu kiro kelius nudes. Ye o au jivarakis poco brietu cora. Okay, so we got a bit of a side uh, mission here as well. Um. No, so we can't craft anything from Jacob. So he's an alchemist that we can use in the game as well. Again, <clears throat> um, basically at the moment. Self is against me in this place. Ooh, that's a bit creepy, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah, so um, basically like a standard little dungeon crawler here. And more or less, we're just going to be attacking, you know, certain enemies or if not all enemies that sort of come our way there will be little uh loot drops as well um that we can sort of fight as well so the, those barrels were one um and then you've got little chests as well that we can discover as well so yeah and then now what you'll probably find is when you start the game itself you'll notice um dependent on what class that you decide to go with the loot drops are going to be um, based upon the the type of class that you've actually started up with just to sort of give you guys a bit of referencing if that sort of helps um, but like I said it's your classic ARPG um, basically right now we we're starting off with nothing anything that you see as a drop here you're gonna be more inclined to either take it and hoard it believe me I, I am one of those people um, that will sort of kind of do that sort of stuff but then eventually you're going to run out of space and then you obviously got to make a call do you keep certain things or do you let them go or make a bit of money on them and actually sell the things so again that sort of comes into um, decision making sort of you know later on but from what I can feel with the game here oh, we're already level 2 which is awesome let me just go ahead and clear this section here just in case there we go. So we've got a couple of weapons, a couple of things and all that sort of good stuff. So let's go ahead and jump into our menu here. And what we've got is we've got things that we can identify and see how they sort of um, how they sort of are. We've got the stats for them as well. The requirement is you need strength one, which we've got, which is great. Um, and then we've got another weapon here, which is a wand, which is a raw wand, a lot better. So then what we've got here, which is the 27. We'll stick with the 27 for now. We've got a staff, which is 53. Requires a higher level of intellect for us to actually wield the thing. But we've got five points here. So depending on how you sort of want to do this as well. Um, so basically, if we look at this, um, requires intellect, requires intellect. Whoops, I should have went to the intellect there, the dexterity there as well, which we'd probably be more inclined to spec into. And then I might just do one for the armor. Uh, sorry, for the strength. And then basically, as you're looking through other things as well, required strength, which is three. I won't be able to wear that until I get strength three. So probably a good tip is depending on what type of nice uh, clothing or weaponry or even um, accessories that you find, um, sort of try and plan out your um, uh, your points accordingly as you sort of um, progress on before sort of making any sort of rational decisions. Um, I was sort of, when I was sort of mucking about with it, I actually was sort of upgrading everything on an even scale, 
which you know sounds like a reasonable thing to do but it might not actually be the right thing to do so again um, a lot of um, veteran you know ARPG players would be more inclined to you know tell me otherwise most definitely or give me better tips than what I'm sort of suggesting here I, I don't really consider what I'm doing as per tips um, okay so we found the quested flowers which is awesome so we can go back to that that fellow beforehand and we can finish off um, that little run there um, just to sort of give you guys a bit of an idea but what I might do is I might clear the first garden here because there are additional levels so which I'll show you guys in a moment uh, just to sort of give you guys a bit of an understanding on how that sort of works but you've got a town portal which you can go back which is a little circle thing above the minimap uh, so just under where the minimap is towards the left and that basically walks you back home and, uh, and you can go back within that little walk and go back to where you were as well so if you run out of inventory slots you can best manage your inventory in that sort of space so yeah see how we sort of get on with this anyway as we sort of go along we are getting some pretty decent armor and things like that we are sort of getting through um, the the whole level system as it stands at the moment um, at the moment you've got these little weaklings here these little imps here it doesn't matter if they sort of flood you you should be fine in terms of getting yourself um, carrying yourself through I should say rather um, now the pathing to this the way that your character you know sort of attacks even if you started attacking one enemy you'll sort of you know dive off and go to another enemy if there's multiples coming at you so I'm not too sure what that why that is I'm not too sure whether or not it's um, you know dependent on you know certain severities or anything like that that I'm not too sure of so um, again if any of you guys are actually playing this game um, please do um, sound off in the comments section and let me know exactly um, you know how the game sort of works in terms of mechanic wise and why you know your player may do certain things um, to what you expect it to do if that sort of makes any sense so yeah be really interested to sort of know um, you know that type of information but as we're sort of going along here um, let's just continue on and just doing our little bits and pieces so we are grabbing quite a number of things as well I'm waiting for the next level up so I can sort of um, designate where I want to put my skill points into. Hopefully that I'll get some pretty decent weapons as well so I can you know, start specking in accordingly where I should be going. Um, oh, we've got a group of these guys here. Okay, and take these guys out without a problem. And you sort of got enough leeway that you can sort of attack and sort of run and spray and run I guess at the same time but again depending what type of class that you're going into so if you're archery or sorcery you'll you might have range as your as your ally here or if you're into melee like swords and um, hammers maces and things like that um, it might be a different story uh, but so far so good Oop, we've got the guy uh, grand new the captain here so let's just continue on I don't want to let him hit me but I think we did okay in taking him out and grabbing all of his um, bits and pieces so that's where the map ends let's go ahead and just scan the rest of the area as well because I really want to get the level up to level 3 and see what else I can discover as well whilst clearing this map and every time that you sort of log back in um, or go back into the zone it does regenerate so you do have to be careful of that as well so you can either just um, if you know where you're going of course just speed speed run your way through if you don't want to deal with these these weaker guys if you've sort of gone far beyond their uh, uh, their uh, what do you call it um, their game stage is what I'm sort of trying to work work out uh, trying to communicate words uh, thoughts to words that's what I'm looking for but yeah that's the thought process with that but you know so far so good um, you know three on one not nothing out of the ordinary I would suspect as you sort of get on in this game as well you're going to have to run into hordes and hordes of demons and things like that just like in those games like Diablo like say Path of Exile um, Grim Dawn if anyone plays Grim Dawn I've played a little bit of that on PC myself and a very small amount of um, Path of Exile just to sort of give you guys a bit of an idea but I've never played Diablo and this is where I'm sort of using this as a bit of a um, bit of a grounding so I can uh, potentially play um, 
Diablo Immortal once it does come out because I'm super interested in playing that. Um, so I've got a lot of friends and um, relatives that actually play those type of games. Um, not necessarily into mobile themselves, but I really want to um, use Diablo Immortal as a introduction into the game of, you know, into that sort of, uh, well, into the franchise, basically. Um, as, as far as the genre goes, well, this is my first hit at it. So, as you can see, you know, very simplistic. It's really not too overbearing at the, at the beginning. So for someone like myself that has very little knowledge about the game um, or the genre itself, you know, it has, I've, I feel like I've had the ability to sort of, you know, pick up on it quite easily. There we go. We've got level three. And yeah, it's actually not too bad. So really, really pretty um, happy with the game. I feel like it's solid. It doesn't feel buggy or glitchy or anything like that. So I don't have any sort of issues, um, you know, playing the game even on my phone or anything like that. So I am playing on a phone just to give you guys a bit of an idea. Um, I believe you can play via emulator if you really want to play traditional way in terms of you know action um, RPG style games, which a lot of people sort of um, you know uh, looked at as a um, as a as a religious sort of thing because you know a lot of um, action RPGs um, do start off based on the PC. So there you have it. So. Um, but yeah, you can play via Bluestacks. I believe this is only on Android as well and not on um, iOS, so apologies for you iOS um, people that do watch my videos. Um, if you've got a PC, you probably want to invest into Bluestacks. Um, free thing to download. I've used it before in the past for certain games as well. Um, and it's just a process of just mapping out things like your, um, your keystrokes um, and how you sort of want that to operate whilst you're playing. So little things like that. Um, that I probably suggest that you guys do um, before attempting to play the game. Oop. Okay. So open the achievements. Okay. Let's just grab a few of those. Royal wand added. That's pretty much the end of this here, as far as I can sort of see. I'll just have a quick squeeze on the other end here and just see if there's anything else that I can find. And obviously attack at the same time. Okay, and hopefully I'll probably get into things like builds and things like that, depending on how, you know, this sort of takes off as well at the same time. So, you know, we shall see. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and open up this fella here. And what do we get? We get a helmet and we've got a short bow added helmet added. So we are on a newer level. As you can see, you've got the cap here that has these little circles here. So I'm assuming that they're uh, for the sockets that you can add like little gems and things like that in there but we can definitely equip that because it does have a good um, regen endurance as well but let's go ahead and check the other things as well so we've got a higher one here that has a little bit more physical plus oh sorry that's for the helmet uh, for the cap um, we've got that required strength 3 required strength 3 uh, 29 attack uh, we've got the good one over here that we'll probably use a little bit later on, I guess, once it gets a little bit tougher. And, well, he automatically just jumped on. Uh, required Strength 3. That's not a bad um, a bad bit of armor there. And so is that. I mean, you're going to get a lot of repeats. That's the thing. So I've got another 5 points. So let's just dump another point into Strength so I can actually uh, utilize one of these. So I've got a bit going for us here. And we've got a Wooden Shield. Uh, five block requires strength two durability as well. So yeah, if you look at this as well You got your five percent block, which is your buff Your required strength is two to hold it and then you got your durability out of 30 which is 21 and you've got this one over here Which is uh, 10 so this and this are quite one and the same So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop that on because it's got the less durability and eventually that'll break and I'll probably end up um, either selling it or tossing it out kind of thing. So yeah, that's pretty much it what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to that fella before and return the um, uh, the flowers to him. And I think I'll get a little potion as part of the reward for doing so. We've gone through the whole base, sorry, the base, the whole map here. And um, and I'll show you um, other levels and things like that in a moment once I get out of here. Just to sort of give you guys a bit of an idea on how the game works at this point in time. So... We'll, um, we'll quickly duck out. He's making his way over. Bit of a run, but we are getting out of here. 
pretty much as soon as possible. So there we go. So if you want, if you really wanted to, you could teleport, but I mean, I figured I'd just run out anyway and just go back to where the entrance was. Okay. And then we can speak to, oh, so here, if you run into here, these, whoops, these are the places that you can visit at the minute. So right now we've got the gardens. There's actually two more versions, I believe, of it, of it or I think four actually. Um, and then you basically move over to the next part, which I believe could be the basement. And then it sort of goes down in that sort of um, order there, just to give you guys an idea. And obviously as you sort of continue on, you are going to experience um, tougher enemies, more difficulty, bosses, things like that. So let's head over to our mate over here. And let's talk to him. <laughs> Beautiful. So we've got healing potions now. So we've unlocked the potions. So if you guys get um, troubled and attacked severely and your health regen isn't cutting it, then you hit, then you tap the um, the uh, the potion there, and that'll give you a certain amount of um, heal regeneration. And then you have to wait a little bit once whilst it cools down, and then you can regen again, and so on and so forth. But I think this is a good time to go ahead and leave it for today. Let me know in the comments what you think about this game and if you guys are interested in me playing this style of genre of game. And when Diablo Immortal does come out, do you guys want me to play that as well? So again, I'll be really interested to hearing your thoughts about the game, about me playing it, everything else in between. But let me know down in the comment section, but make sure you hit the like button, comment down below as always, share the video. If you've got any other people that are interested in this genre of games, please share them. So at least this way we get, we get new people coming into the channel, checking out these videos and everything else in between. And if you guys are new to my channel, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos. There's other games on the channel for you guys to look at as well, not just this. But that's good. Go ahead and leave it for today. So thanks for watching and I will catch you next time.